channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place. And I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on Instagram where I cover slightly different content, but usually involving perfumes too. So today I'm very honored and excited to have been tagged by the beautiful Chrissy P here on YouTube. Chrissy has a fabulous channel and she is just delightful. I am going to put her information down in the description box so you can go check her out, show her some love, subscribe to her channel and watch her video. This video tag is about perfumes that I love, but I wish lasted longer. And I've got quite a few of those. Mostly these are kind of like the spring and summer varieties. And when I look in front of me, I see bright, colorful. These are like some of my favorite classic kind of spring and summer fragrances. So I'm just gonna start off with one that I've talked about a lot. This is from Harajuku Lovers. This is called Pop Electric G. And this is pineapple and coconut and it's really beautiful. It lasts a couple hours maybe on me, um, but I don't mind reapplying it. It's, um, it's my backup bottle <laughs> and it's just a beautiful, delightful, super summery, refreshing and juicy coconut pineapple uh, fragrance, which I love. And I, every time I see this pop up on Fragrance Net or Hot Look, I am so tempted to buy another backup bottle, but I have to stop myself because that just seems like it's getting ridiculous. But I don't wanna be without this one. I just really, really love it in the summer. So that's one. And then my Marc Jacobs Daisy fragrances. This one is Daisy Oh So Fresh Kiss. I love these. They don't last long. They're maybe, again, a couple hours. I think most of the ones I'm talking about today are like in the two to three hour range. Um, so I really love these daisies. Um, these, there's like so many daisy flankers and they all have cute bottles, diff slightly different, but very adorable bottles. This one is, they're just beautiful florals. They're light, they're refreshing. I find them really, really pleasant. The other one that I have is called Daisy Dream Twinkle. And so these are just so fun and I love them for this time of year. And I do wish they lasted longer, but that's definitely not going to stop me from continuing to wear them because... I just love them. What are your favorite daisy flankers? I'm really curious what other, um, I know there's tons of them, but I'm curious what other people love for the daisy line. And then I've got my two uh, favorite Elizabeth Arden Green Teas. This one's Pear Blossom, this one's Nectarine Blossom. And these are just beautiful fruity florals. They are in the two to three hour range. Um, I usually kind of douse myself in them when I'm wearing them <laughs> to hopefully give them a little more potency and a little more longevity but they're beautiful, they're awesome summer options, and I just really love these. Again, this is like such a colorful, colorful theme here today. The next series is my Oscar de la Renta. I think this is called the Oscar series. This one is bamboo, and I just love the colors in this bottle. And this is a really pretty green. I think these are all eau de toilettes. I think most of the ones I'm talking about today are eau de toilettes, with one exception maybe. So anyway, this is a very green, pretty, fruity floral, <laughs> um, maybe on the green side, but really nice. Um, unfortunately, this whole line is discontinued, but I do see them on Mercari and eBay periodically. So that's one of them. And then I've got Violet, which is a really pretty fruity floral violet. Um, and I really like this. I, um, I wish it lasted longer. I don't love it as much as my Marc Jacobs Violet, but I do really like this one. And I've got Red Orchid, which I did a whole dedicated video on Red Orchid. I really love this one. It's maybe three to four hours, maybe a little bit longer than some of the other ones, but still pretty fleeting and beautiful, fun. These are all great for spring and summer. And then the last one from this line that I have is called Pink Lily. And this one just reminds me of the um, Mark Jacobs Daisy line, this small. <laughs> This smells like it could easily be one of the Marc Jacobs Daisy fragrances. And I think it's it's really pretty and refreshing and that floral fruitiness, um, you know, it, it can be a little hard to distinguish. You know, if you gave me a blind smell test with all of these, especially like the Oscar de la Renta and the Elizabeth Arden and the Daisies, I'm not sure that, <laughs> that I could tell you which one is which. So that might be an interesting future video, but I really love these. And then my last little series within this video is from Pinrose. And um, I've got three of them here. This one is Pillow Talk Poet. And these are gorgeous. I believe they're Eau de Parfum Strength, but they just aren't quite as long lasting as I would like. But I still like them and I still wear them. So beautiful, very refreshing. I think the bottles are adorable. This one is Tamarine Dreamer. 
and I think they're just fun. This one's a little more strong than Pillow Talk Poet. Definitely a white flower, kind of gardenia, lily of the valley type florals. Very pretty. Um, like I said, it, it's um, Pillow Talk Poet is probably the lightest of all of them that I have. But I like that one. And finally, I've got Little Dipper here. And very pretty. Much more fruity maybe than the other two. Ah, beautiful. Um, so yeah, I love Pinrose. I love the house. I think they are really interesting and pretty and um, easy to wear. I do wish they lasted longer. So this is an open tag. I'm not tagging specific people. If this is something that interests you, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, whether you're a content creator or a subscriber, um, if you're a content creator, I'd love to see your thoughts on YouTube or Instagram. And if you are a subscriber, I would love to see your thoughts down in the comments. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Chrissy for tagging me. I really appreciate it. And again, be sure to check out Chrissy P's channel. She is delightful and I think you will really enjoy her content. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, feel free to give it a thumbs down and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you.